Okay, good afternoon guys. Once again, this is your Prof. Zeus and welcome to our third session. Okay, for this uh, basic accounting concepts. Okay, now we left the discussion earlier on the journalizing or recording of transactions. Now, before we go any further to the, to the other um, you know, steps in the accounting cycle, let's first have you know, an example for uh, to demonstrate the first uh, the first two um, steps or uh, steps in the cycle of uh, in, in the cycle that we have already discussed. Okay, let us take this uh, transactions. So on January one, Zeus invested hundred thousand in a professional consulting firm. On January five, he purchased supplies for five thousand pesos for January, and this is for cash. Let's put here cash, and then. Number three, January 6, he purchased a laptop for 25000 that's on account. And number three, he paid, uh, January 10, he paid the number three transaction. Okay, let us first try to analyze this transaction in terms of the accounting equation. So this is our accounting equation. And I'm sure that you are very much aware of this, okay? So in the assets, you have your, what are some of the assets? Cash. What else? You have your supplies. Okay, and then you have your office equipment. Okay, and then here you have your accounts payable. And then you have your capital. Okay. So in January 1, what happened in January 1? Okay, the proprietor or the owner invested 100,000. Okay, what did he invest? He invested what? Cash of 100,000. So the business received cash of 100,000. What was the effect on the assets? Okay, that's good. Assets increase. What type of asset, uh, what type of asset uh, increased? Okay, you're, you're right, no? Uh, cash increase, so there's an increase of 100,000 in cash. Now what else? What is the effect of the asset on the another side of the equation? Now this will cause an increase in the capital because this is what? Investment. So therefore, there is also an increase in capital. So if you would look at your, uh, look at your, uh, your, your accounting equation, assets is still equal to liabilities plus equity. Okay, that's how we analyze. And then January 5, Zeus purchased supplies for 5,000 for cash. So, what happened to assets? What happened to the assets account? Okay, assets increase, right? What type of asset uh, increased? Supplies, okay? So, supplies increase for how much? 5,000 pesos. Now, since the, the proprietor paid cash, Okay, he settled immediately the liability to the supplier. So what did he use to pay for the supplier, to, to pay for the transaction? Cash. What happened to cash? Increase or decrease? Okay, cash decreased because it was used as a payment. So therefore, cash here would decrease by 5,000 pesos. Okay? On the other side, no effect. Okay? So if you look at your, your, at your transaction table, okay? your assets still equal to liabilities plus equity because on the asset side we have zero if you accept the increase and the decrease and this on this side it's also zero okay what else january 6. on january 6 what happened january 6 he purchased laptop on account when you say on account it, it means what okay he did not pay for it yet so it's what it's an utang it's a liability Okay, so what happened to your accounting equation? What was affected by this transaction? Okay, number one, there's an increase in office equipment. Okay, office equipment, the laptop, for how much? 25,000 pesos. So your laptop or office equipment increased by 25,000 pesos. Okay, did he pay for this? Not yet. So therefore, there's no effect on cash. So if this was not paid, then this remains a what? A liability. So therefore, accounts payable would also increase by the same amount, twenty-five thousand. So again, if you still look, if you look at your transactions analysis table, then your your um, assets is still equal to your liabilities plus equity. 
And then last one, January 10. Okay, Zeus paid for the laptop that he purchased. Okay, so so the laptop was already recorded, so there's no, no, no need to increase the asset. Okay, so what, what is the last transaction? There's a settlement of an obligation or a payment of a liability. So with this, what happens? Liability decreased and what was used to pay for the liability? Cash was used to pay for the liability, okay? So therefore, cash would decrease by how much? By 25,000 pesos. And of course, your accounts payable would also decrease by 25,000 pesos. Okay? So this is how we analyze the transactions in tabular form. So therefore, how much, is, uh, how much remains in cash? So this is 30, so this is 70,000 pesos. You have 5,000 pesos in supplies. And you have 25,000 pesos in office equipment is equal to liabilities is zero and then this one is 100,000 so look at your uh, table now you have 70,000 cash plus 5,000 supplies plus 25,000 office equipment is equal to 100,000 which is equal to the liabilities plus owner's equity of 100,000, okay? So before we record, we try to analyze the effect of the transactions in terms of the accounting equation, okay? So now we're now ready to record the transaction using the general journal, okay? So you have to erase this one because of the limitation in terms of our resource. Masyado malit yung ating blackboard, okay? But we can do this. Okay, let us do a, uh, you know, a um, general journal here. Okay, so assuming that this is your general journal, so what do we put here? You have here the date, you have here the particulars, and this is where we will put the account titles that are affected by the transaction and the little one here you have your folio and then you have your debit or dr and you have your credit or cr okay so again number one transaction cash increase right so this is january one okay let us first review the rules of debits and credits so you have debits and credits assets is equal to your liabilities plus equity Okay, so if you look at this T account, this is the debit side, right? And this is the credit side. Okay, so since asset is on the debit side, all increases in assets will be recorded under debit. Okay, so increases in assets. Increase in assets. So therefore, if the asset decrease, it's on the credit side. Okay. Now, liabilities and equity is on the credit side. So, transactions that will uh, increase your, your liability and equity will be recorded on the credit side. So, you have increased in liability. And whenever there's uh, a decrease, no, wala na yata ako sa screen, no? Sige, adjust natin ng konti. Yan. And whenever there's decrease in liability, you will record on the debit. So, decrease in liability okay now again equity is on the credit side so increase in equity is recorded on the credit increase in equity and if there are transactions that would decrease equity it will be recorded on the debit decrease in equity okay so again going back here so cash increase cash is an asset so therefore we will record it as an increase debit cash for how much 100,000 pesos okay and then equity or capital increase so increase in equity is credit so credit Zeus capital for how much 100,000 pesos now is this a complete journal entry not yet because 
A complete journal entry also includes what? Okay, that's correct. A simple and short explanation of the transaction. Okay? So, lagay natin to record investment. Initial investment. Okay. So, a complete entry would have your, your date, the accounts affected, a uh, short, uh, short description of the transaction, then, of course, the debit and the credit. Do not put, you know, peso sign anymore because we are using general journals, okay? Now, let's go to the second one, January 5. So, January 5, purchase supplies for 5,000. Supply is an asset, so increase in asset is debit. So, debit supplies for how much? 5,000 pesos. And then, there was a decrease in asset cash because he used cash to pay for the asset for the supply so credit cash for how much five thousand pesos okay short explanation to record purchase of supplies okay now the third one purchase laptop january 6 so january 6 he purchased laptop so there's an increase in an asset that is what office equipment so debit ka ng office equipment. For how much? 25,000 pesos. And credit, it's on account so not yet paid. So credit accounts payable. For how much? 25,000 pesos. Okay, again, explanation to record payment. I to record purchase of laptop, no? Yan. And then, the last one was the payment of the laptop. So, therefore, January 10. So, this will now be debited because this is already settled. So, decrease in liability is debit. Therefore, debit accounts payable. For how much? 25,000 pesos. And credit cash for 25,000 pesos. Okay. So, explanation, payment of uh, liability. Okay. Now, so this is how we record transactions. Okay. First, we, we show, I showed you how to analyze transactions. And then, here is the recording of transactions. Okay. Before we go any further, I'd like to give you a brief uh, very very brief uh, you know exercise or uh, shall we say quiz okay for for us to be able to test whether you learned something from this uh, discussion so far okay so I'll be leaving you for a while but I'll be giving you your uh, first uh, quiz for uh, basic accounting thank you very much and see you again.